Hello friends! Do you know what day it is today? Let's figure it out together. Can you look on the board and tell me which shape was the last shape we drew in our pattern? Once we find that shape, we will know what yesterday was. And once we know what yesterday was, then we can figure out what today is. What shape is the last shape we drew in our pattern? It's a little bit easier today because we only have one shape. Do you see it? That's right, the Easter egg. We drew an Easter egg in yesterday's square. And yesterday was Thursday, April 1st, 2021. Let's peek in our agenda and see if we did all of our activities for yesterday. Did you bring your agenda with you? It's okay if you didn't, you can just follow along with us. So yesterday, I put in my agenda that I was going to look for all of my Easter books. And I did that, I found my Easter books. So I can check that off because I completed that task. It's all done. So now that we know which square was for yesterday, we can figure out what today's square is. We always go from left to right, just like when we read, we go left to right. So we start in this square and we're gonna go one square over and this will be the square for today. And we need to put in a shape for today. It's the beginning of the month, so we can pick any shape we want. What do you think would be a good shape to put in the square for today? I heard somebody say circle. Let's do use a circle. And what color should we try? I heard a pink. Pink would be good. Let's try pink. You can draw it on your calendar, on a piece of paper, or in the air with your finger. Are you ready? We'll start up at the top and go around and back up to the top. And then color it in. It's okay if your circle isn't perfectly round or if we go out of the lines a little bit. We're all practicing and we'll get better the more that we practice. So now that we know that this is the square for today, we can figure out what the name of our day is today. Do you remember how many days of the week there are? I hear some great guesses. Let's go up to the top and we'll count and say the names of the days together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job, thank you for singing that with me. It's much more fun when we sing it together. So we go to our square and we're gonna go up to the top and it says Friday. And Friday begins with the letter F. And F sounds like f. Can you try that? Say f. Good job. And some words that start with f are fun, friend, fly. So capital F because it's the name of our day. R-I-D-A-Y. Friday. Friday. And Friday has two syllables. Will you clap them with me? Fry. Day. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Friday. Excellent. Now let's put Friday into our agenda. We'll start by putting in the first two words in our sentence and they are today is. So we'll start with a capital T and then an O. D A Y. Our first word is today and T is capitalized because today is the first word in our sentence and we always capitalize the first word in our sentence. The next word will be is and is is spelled I S and next we're going to put in the day and today is Friday capital F R I D A Y and then a comma and that comma reminds us to pause before we say the next word and the next word is going to be our month. Do you remember how many months there are in the year? Good guessing. Let's count up the months and say the names together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months in the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Good job, thank you for saying those with me. Do you remember what month we are in? It's the fourth one from the top. Let's check. One, two, three, four, and it is April. So we printed April at the top of our calendar and April begins with the letter A and it's 
a capital A because it is the name of our month and it is spelled A-P-R-I-L, April. And April has two syllables. Will you clap them with me? April, good job, one more time. April, excellent, thank you. Let's put the month into the sentence in our agenda. Today is Friday, comma, and I ran out of room, so I'm gonna come down and go back to the beginning of the paper here. April, capital A, P, R, I, L. And next we're gonna put in the number. What do you think the number is today? Oh, I hear some great guesses. Do you remember what the number was yesterday? That will help us to know what the number for today is. Do you see it? One, our number yesterday was one. And when we count, we say one, but when we put it in the calendar, we say first. Can you try say first? Good job, first. So what comes after one when we're counting? Let's count. One, two. Good job. Two is next. So we can put a two into our calendar. You can practice on your calendar, on a piece of paper, or in the air with your finger. Are you ready? So we start up at the top, and we curve up and around, and then we go down on a diagonal to the left, and then across the bottom. Two. And when we count, we say two, but when we put it into the calendar, we say second. Can you try that? Say second. Good job. So today is the second. Let's count backwards before we put it into our agenda. Are you ready? Two, one, blast off! Can you say what we have so far with me? Today is Friday, comma, April 2nd, so we'll put in a two and then another comma and that comma reminds us to pause before we say the year and the year is at the top of our calendar and we say 2021 or you can say it 2021, both ways is fine. Two, zero, two, one and then a period and that period reminds us to stop. There's nothing else to say in our sentence. Will you say the whole sentence with me? Let's say it together. Today is Friday, April 2nd, 2021. Next, I'm going to print my numbers all the way up to the number two. I wanna practice printing my numbers every day so I get really good at them. And I would like you to practice printing your numbers every day too. Even if you don't know how to make all the numbers yet, it's good to practice. The more you practice, the better you will get. Are you ready? You can practice on your paper or in the air with me. Are you ready? One, two. Yeah, there wasn't too many to do today, was there? Good job. Thank you for helping me with that. Before we finish up our agenda, I wanted to point out that today is a special day. There's three different things going on today. So the first one is Good Friday. And that is a holiday. So a lot of people don't have to work today and they don't have to go to school. Some people are relaxing. Some people are doing some fun things with family. Some people have to work, but a lot of people don't have to work today. The other thing that is happening today is it's Children's Picture Book Day. So today we are celebrating children's picture books. So all of the books that you have that have pictures in them, those are children's picture books. And it's a good day to sit down and read one of those books. Do you think you could pick out one of those books and read one today? That's a good way to celebrate Children's Picture Book Day. The other thing is that it's peanut butter and jelly day. Do you like peanut butter and jelly? I really like peanut butter and jelly. I didn't always like peanut butter and jelly when I was a kid, I didn't like peanut butter and jelly, but I like peanut butter and jelly now. Some people can't have peanut butter and jelly because they're allergic to peanuts, and that's okay. They can have something that's called sun butter or another substitute that's like a fake peanut butter. So it tastes like peanut butter and looks like peanut butter, but there's no peanuts in it. So there's lots of options for making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do you know that there is a song about peanut butter and jelly? It's kind of an old song from when I was a little girl and I still sing it today. Would you like to sing along with me? I bet you you may even know the song and there's some action words that we do for it as well. Would you like to try that? Let's give it a whirl. Are you ready? So for the first part, you rub your belly when I say peanut, peanut butter, and then you put your hands on your face when you say jelly. 
Are you ready? Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. First, you take the peanuts and you dig them. You dig them. You dig them, dig them, dig them. Then you crush them. You crush them. You crush them, crush them, crush them. Then you spread them. You spread them. You spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Next, you pick the berries and you pick them. You pick them. You pick them, pick them, pick them. Then you squish them. You squish them. You squish them, squish them, squish them. Then you spread them. You spread them. You spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Next, you take the sandwich and you bite it. Hum. You bite it. Hum. You bite it, bite it, bite it. Then you munch it. You munch it. You munch it, munch it, munch it. Then you swallow. Gulp. You swallow. Gulp. You swallow, swallow, swallow. Gulp. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you for trying that with me. Let's finish our agenda. So there's a couple things going on today and I'm going to draw one thing that I need to do today. Can you draw one thing that you need to do today on your piece of paper? It's okay if you don't have a piece of paper, you can just follow along with me as I draw. But if you have a piece of paper, I would like you to try to draw one thing you have to do today. So there's a couple things. I found my Easter books yesterday and it is children's picture book day. So I am going to read a book, but I'm also going to make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. So that's what I'm going to draw today. I'm going to use some brown bread. Do you like brown bread? Or do you use white bread? Or maybe a rye bread? Or maybe a sourdough bread? I'll put my jelly on. Mm, I love jelly. What kind of jelly do you like? I like raspberry or strawberry. There's also grape jelly and blueberry. And oh, Nan King jelly is another one of my favorites. And then I'm gonna put on some peanut butter and you can put sun butter or almond butter or any kind of butter. So I'm going to print my name at the bottom of this picture because I'm done. And when I put my name at the bottom of that picture, everybody knows that I did it. But I also want to practice printing my name every day so I get really good at it. If we practice printing our name just once every day, we'll get really, really good at it. So I would like you to practice printing your name while I'm printing my name. Do you think you can do that? You can do it on a piece of paper or in the air with your finger. And if you don't know how to spell your name yet, you can ask your grown up or one of your siblings to help you. Even if you just practice the first letter is great. Are you ready? So capital C-E-L-Y-N-N-E. -N -N -E. And if you don't know how to make all these letters and numbers yet, you can practice just by making one letter every day. If you practice making one letter every day, eventually you'll know how to make all the letters and then you can print all the words that you want. So right now we're practicing with the letter A. Will you practice the letter A with me? You can practice on a paper or in the air with your finger. Are you ready? Start up at the top and go all the way down to the line. Then go back up to the top and go the other way down to the line. Kind of like a tent or an upside down V. And then you're gonna make a line across. Good job. Now for the lowercase a, we're gonna make a circle. Are you ready? Go all the way around and then make a line down the side. So you just drew an uppercase a and a lowercase a. So practice making one letter every day. You'll get really, really good at it. How are you feeling today? Yesterday, I was feeling happy. I didn't have anything that made me angry or sad or confused. So I was feeling happy. What else do we have? We've got a couple different faces here. What about sad? Are you sad today? Did something sad happen? Maybe you stubbed your toe or you lost your favorite stuffy. Those are all good reasons to feel sad. What about angry? Are you angry today? 
Did something bad happen to make you feel angry? Or maybe you're just feeling grouchy, like you just don't want to be around anybody. Maybe you didn't sleep well last night. That happens to me sometimes. What about excited? I think I might be excited today. Are you excited about picture book day or peanut butter and jelly day? Or maybe that is good Friday. Maybe you get to spend some extra time with your family or friends today. I think I might be excited. What about confused? Are you confused today or shy? Maybe bashful? What about happy? Are you happy today? Just content, cozy feeling, just enjoying the day? I think I'm excited because I get to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich today and read some stories for picture book day. So I'll put that up on the board. And my kind thing today is I'm going to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the other people in my house. Do you think you could make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to share with someone? Sharing is a wonderful way to be kind. And a, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is kind of an easier thing to make. You might be able to make one on your own or you can ask a grown up to help you. I hope you find something wonderful and kind to do today and we will see each other again tomorrow. Bye bye friends. Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.